why number of candidates recruited under the civil service is declining and will it lead to the shortage of civil servants so in recent years the number of selection of civil servants is gradually declining which is a major threat for the country's the bureaucratic framework so now 2021 civil service examination result was released and only 685 officers have been recruited under the civil service examination in 2021 which is very much low in fact it is very low in previous decade from 2012 it is the lowest number of civil service officers recruited uh, we can see the statistics in 2012 around 998 candidates were, were selected and 13 1122 candidates selected and 2014 2014 2014 candidates were selected and at last 2021 only 685 candidates were selected and uh, uh, and in the 685 candidates only 27 candidates are selected from tamil nadu which is a poor performance from the state so in 2019 there were 927 vacancies but the selected candidate is eight very only 829 and in 2021 there are total 749 vacancies but only 685 candidates were selected so the number of vacancy is more but the selection of candidate is very less which is a major threat for the country's bureaucracy so what was the reason behind the shortage i mean the fall in the selection process i mean the fall the fall in the clearance of the civil servants so my reason it is uh, belongs to my perspective i see the uh, reason as the technological growth because due to the technological growth there were many resources available in internet so people will prefer more short uh, term like they wa they didn't prefer the extensive reading like reading more books reading more books is the key to success in civil service examination so it will broad up our thinking and broad up our view but in recent days if the civil servants or any aspirant want to prepare they simply go to the internet and search and many upsc websites are there it will it will give out in a short form so people are preferring that this is the main setback and it is a main factor for the uh, the decline in the civil service because many were failed to pass and in recent days there were shortage in all india service offices that's why the central government made an uh, the amendment in ias cadre rules 1954 and they have issued a notification on january 12 which created speculation among the states because it was against the states and infringement against uh, against them the power of states because IAS Cadre Rules 1954 states that both center and state should decide on it but the recent amendment give more powers to the center <clears throat> this is because many officers doesn't prefer for the IAS deputation and of course there were more vacancies but then the officers are less is already in the center and also always the all India service officers like Indian Forest Service, Indian Police Service and in Indian Administrative Officers always prefer to go for the country officer, I mean to the states. So they will deny their, their uh, objection to them uh, to again come to the center. So this created some sort of inconvenience for the center. So center imposed the heavy restriction and they have made some changes to them. Uh, the section C 6 uh, subsection 1 of the uh, IS Cadre rules. So, the proposed amendment gave more powers to the center, like the center can pick out any all India service offices from the states under public interest, and also uh, the previous uh, the condition states that the state 
should have at least 40 percentage of IA, uh, all india civil all india service officers in the state but now the center says if they want all 100 percentage officers they can take the 100 percentage officers from the states because uh, the um, central deputation uh, the officers comes under the central deputation is very less and the vacancy are increasing and there were many decline in the even in the joint secretary level so this is a grave threat for the central government and also like if center want to pick more IAF my more all India service officers from the states and uh, it defend the civil service like if state uh, if center uh, grab more IAS officers from the state all India service service officers from the states then automatically then gradually the state will uh, fill up the post with using their public service commission if Tamil Nadu state government want to fill up the post they can fill with the uh, Tamil Nadu public service commission examination gradually it will gain fame but the civil servants will, will uh, the civil servants will not more preferable by the states that's a major uh, consequences faced by due to the IS cutter rule the IS cutter rule framed by center is uh, it forced the center to frame the rules because due to the shortage of uh, the all india service officer at the center and now in 2021 the selection is very less around 685 candidates were recruited so subsequently it is reducing so due to the decline in the um, the number of officers subsequently center will pick more officers from the states if it pick more officers from the states then obviously the state government began to fill the uh, the vacancies through the public service commission so the fame of the civil service slightly will reduce so that's the main thing in it so we can look forward and what will happen thank you